Good morning traders and welcome to this week's weekly market analysis Monday the 18th of March. A big week this week in terms of data make sure you keep an eye out on that uh, I'll just post it over here uh, the highlights of what we have but uh, essentially Australia the US and the UK all rates decision which are big uh, data events and they move currencies significantly so keep an out I out on that but this morning let's just kick off and start our analysis with the Aussie US dollar and um, let's carry on from what we were looking at last week now I as you can see on my chart I have this mark here which we were thinking we're going to get towards there now that may still happen but it's actually done a little kick downwards and if I zoom in now a little bit closer we could get an opportunity to trade in this direction as such so what we're looking for is and let me just draw this a little bit better let me just get out an MT drawing tool so I can try and place some kind of a support line there but what I'm really looking for it doesn't have to be on this line I'm looking at this mini trend okay inside of that uh, converging zone that I've highlighted in the larger picture and specifically what I'm looking for is if I can get a sign down here that the market has come down and now showing me that it's about to reverse well then I'm happy to become a buyer uh, heading towards this top parameter which will concern me because we already know from when we zoom out that it is already an identified region where the market is converging and there could be some uh, resistance in this area there so I guess what we're looking for initially right now if we're trying to get a trade out of this is if we could get some kind of a, uh, inside candle pattern occurring over there that would be our signal to become a buyer and head back towards this upper zone and when I zoom out again just to show you the, the reason I've got that upper zone there is because of this line which I've already identified so I'm happy to take a little mini trade in there towards there but as we get towards this region I definitely want to double check and see if I'm going to try and continue to if it shoots through or does not shoot through but on first instance we're looking for an inside candle or a reversal pattern to occur right there so we can continue with this little mini trend all right, let's move along and have a look at our Euro USD. <coughs> Euro USD, very, very similar story. We can see that we seem to be bound inside this region and we're trading in there. But if we zoom in, let me zoom in, we can see that especially for this area here it appears that there, we're in a little mini trend and we could look for buying opportunities heading towards that possible resistance level and if I draw on this one this one's it's quite uniform I, I like it a lot um, I'm just basically looking to see if I can get a, a reversal out of today's candle tomorrow's candle and uh, if I do get that reversal confirmation well then I'm happy to become a buyer in this particular market there all right, so that's my Euro USD. Similar reasoning to the Aussie dollar, and they are uh, currency pairs that do correlate a little bit. So, if, for example, both of them were to set up and you didn't want to double your exposure or increase your exposure, you may choose to sit one out and uh, look at the other pair instead. Okay, all right, let's have a look at the US yen. Okay, the US yen, let me zoom out first so I can see. Okay, I've marked in this line down the bottom here and I had my marker thinking that uh, perhaps we were heading towards down there but it's actually shot up a little bit let me zoom in now so in the last five days it's done this little kick so with this one uh, I really don't have an option but to wait uh, the next level this bottom sorry this bottom level still interests me I'm just going to sh shuffle it across more what may happen is it may come across like that and then head towards here before we get that opportunity to trade as such um, the only other level that I would be concerned with is I may just put a line up the top here if this market does not go down and continues to go up then and we get towards this area here I might be interested in trading it in a downward direction 
but uh, let's mark it for now and let's see which one we head towards but for right now USCN we are sitting on the sidelines and just watching to see which way it's heading before it reaches the areas that we are interested in and possibly attempt to trade there okay all right let's move along GBP USD <clears throat> okay clearly I can see from the marks I left on my chart I was thinking that this may go like that look for the reversal and then shoot it in this direction but what happened is we were already we created a high that wasn't as high as that level there so let me just get rid of a few of these things and I'll just redraw it out for you so this was the last set of highs and over here we can clearly see that we have cleared it so we've broken through it's poked its head through come back and now if it shows me a sign here that the market is reversing so coming down shows me that it's reversing then I'm happy to kick off in this direction and attempt to trade as such continuing in this trend here heading towards this level which does interest me because of that previous high um, there could be some resistance as we approach that level but before we even get there we need to look for a trigger to see if we can get a, a reversal a confirmation in this region and then I'll be happy to become a buyer in this particular market and again GBP USD the Euro USD and Aussie USD they're, they're very um, they correlate to a significant amount so if all three were to trigger at the same time you may not want to take all three because your exposure increases okay and then just make a decision on which one perhaps looks better uh, from a technical point of view which in which reversal pattern is the strongest etc etc and then make a decision based on that or follow your trading rules and you, <clears throat> if your trading rules say that you can take all three well then that's fine that's your trading rules okay all right so that's the GBP USD let's move over to oil WTI okay oil continues to just very very slow movements in here and I've got my markers on the top and the bottom side of this region uh, and really I'm interested in trading there or I'm interested in trading there in the middle I'm, I'm happy to sit this one out because I've got other <clears throat> currency pairs that um, can catch this movement so for right now WTI this week nice and simple we just sit it out we are smack in the middle and let's see uh, what develops this week that is about to start all right final one for the week we have gold and gold all right we have previously marked that we will we seem to have made some kind of high we were looking for a pullback look for the reversal and then the continuation in this direction okay so that's happened so now we basically now need to just wait for the reversal so let's I'm just going to draw it over here it could happen in the next one or two candles oops sorry let me just redraw that in okay so we want these to come down let's say it shows us a reversal pattern an inside candle for example like this and then we are happy to become buyers and continue on this trend and this momentum okay so that's what we're looking for with gold so all the trades that we're kind of uh, looking at this morning uh, longish trades it seems to be a movement in the entire market pushing in that direction we're looking and waiting for pullbacks um, to give us a confirmation of reversal and then to jump in to continue into that trade don't forget this week uh, we do have quite a bit of data um, and the highlights are the Australia RBA interest rate decision tomorrow the UK and also the US later in the week are making their monetary policies and interest rates decision as well that pretty much wraps up for this morning guys as always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions um, have a great trading week and I'll speak to you next week for the weekly market analysis bye for now